you can tell, this is going to be one of those matches where Ray is going to go 100 miles per hour. I mean, you can put the speedometer away because Ray's going to break it. The big question is, is he going to run right into a brick wall? All we know is Mysterio is going to go at full speed no matter what the situation. And staring him down is Big E. A man who I've said has all the tools a superstar needs to be at the top of WWE. Big E just needs to keep his focus on being an aggressor, being brutal, being the powerhouse that he truly is. I don't completely disagree with you, Corey. Big E should try to assert dominance tonight, but if he wants to get those hips moving and bust a move too, I wouldn't object. Rey Mysterio is so difficult to plan for because he can adapt to so many situations. That brings up the question, is there something an opponent can detect during the match to get the upper hand? But ever since his return, we've seen opponents employ strange new strategies to get at Mysterio. Targeting his eye, threatening his family. You have to think of new tricks to get one over on a savvy veteran like Rey. But when you find a weakness, you have to attack it with passion. And he had Rey's number there. I don't know, this is a good idea. This is gonna take more strength than he has left. A lift up. <laughs> what are they gonna do here? Leg snap! here tonight looks as focused as he ever has maybe even more so we know Big E knows how to turn it on when the lights shine bright and tonight is no different this is a Big E to be feared certainly a big from the top oh, drop. good lord can't quite get him there into the turnbuckle the body taking some punishment Looking for more damage here. Oh, release back suplex. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, targeting the stomach. The strength of Big E on display. And Mysterio needs to fight back. Flat out. Managing to find some of that needed breathing room. The U turn Mysterio needed in this match could have been that right there. You know, Big E may be quite fast for his size, but he's still a big, big man. Speed is not his primary game, and speed is the ultimate key for his opponent tonight. You're right, Corey. Quick attacks could be the key to victory here. That takes him down. Oh, what a kick. Oh, perfect kick. Oh, Big E avoids contact. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Powerbomb planted. Rey Mysterio has become synonymous with being known as the biggest little man in WWE history. He earns that moniker by being a consistent example of someone who aims for goals above their weight class. And because of that attitude, Ray's achieved just about every big accolade you can in this business. A long career built on punching upwards continues with this match. And then you have Big E, primed and ready to show out here tonight. Look at the focus in his eyes. Listen, I've been critical of Big E for putting too much emphasis on having fun and doing whatever it is that he does with his hips. I believe it's hindered the trajectory of his career. But looking at Big E now, he finally looks like a man who is ready to live up to his capabilities. Big kick. Mysterio in the cover. One, two. And he powers out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Yeah. Back with a punch to the gut. Ray had that 
well scouted. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Counter after counter. Sequence of reversals there. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Driven down face first. 